Good morning, and thank you for joining us here at WGBH in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm Chris Perry, and I'm so excited to show you what the team at LiveView and I have been up to here today. For the past 15 years, LiveView has been at the forefront of innovation. We continue to shape the future of live video year after year, powering your video production workflows and cloud services for news, sports, production companies, and many others. And today we continue that trend, focusing on the next generation of live production. Live means so much. It's more than just the immediacy that has the power to change the world. It forms an emotional connection to the audience. I saw that happen live is a profound statement, and LiveView is honored to be such an important piece of making that happen. Over the years, we've developed a wide-ranging portfolio of hardware, software, services, and solutions to revolutionize the way you produce your live content. The LU300 offers the ultimate in portability without sacrificing quality, with long battery life and a best-in-class HEVC encoder. The LU600 is the workhorse of the industry, being used to bring global audiences closer to the action than ever before. The LU800, the world's first 5G production-level field unit enabling Remy and multi-camera production. LiveView Central, our cloud management system that ensures you can manage your fleet of equipment from anywhere. And LiveView Matrix offers unmatched flexibility in raw and syndicated video distribution and sharing. And the proof is clear. We deliver over 950 terabytes of live video from the field every month. LiveView Matrix will deliver more than 350,000 feeds this year alone. And our global customer base of over 4,500 strong continues to grow in 150 countries and counting. Every year, we look at new products and services that we can offer to improve these workflows and make broadcasting live video easier than ever. And this past year was no different. Well, maybe it was a bit different. In fact, with so much going remote over the past year and a half, we've entered a period of unprecedented change. Production workflows that had become straightforward over the past 60 years were suddenly turned on their head, requiring you to implement new technologies and novel solutions to make doing your job easier and more effective. The use of cloud technologies has exploded. The need to work from anywhere, once only a notion in the industry, has become commonplace. So we had to continue our innovation and design something sustainable that combined the need for high quality live video from anywhere with much needed improvements in the collaborative and orchestration processes that are inherent with live. We saw the industry adopt different methods of getting talent and remote guests on air and still collaborate with the production crews, generally using consumer grade video conferencing tools or apps, plus a heap of complex engineering to work properly. And while these were great temporary solutions, broadcast quality was often sacrificed. As experts in live video transport over non-guaranteed networks, this was a problem LiveView was born to solve. That's why we've been working on a new platform that makes it easier than ever to get your show up and running with the highest quality, reliable live video directly from any of your devices that anyone in the production workflow can use meaning you can stop worrying about all the stuff that makes live hard and just make live happen. Today, I want to give you a short introduction to air control. So let's dive in and see how this really works. It begins with the production staff building a show inside air control. Using a secure interface with granular permissions, the production crew creates the show, sets all of the important information, the show's name, its start time, duration, and then selects how the show's feed should be used to display program and prompter 
as fed by the LiveView video return platform. Finally, you add the rest of your crew and invite your on-air talent and guests. These guests are stored in a private address book and can be invited to join the show without the crew ever having to leave the platform. Once it's time for the show to start, the crew launches into the production dock. A beautiful, single pane of glass user experience with the ability to collaborate with other crew members in the production booth, monitor the production with an integrated multi-viewer, see, listen, and speak to your guests and talent, and finally, route broadcast video to a live view output channel with drag and drop, be that an on-premise for SDI or a cloud channel for outputting SRT or NDI. And here, your existing production workflow takes over. Meanwhile, the guest side could not be simpler. After clicking the link sent to them from the Air Control platform, they're directed to the Air Control streaming client, where they see themselves and the program feed. That's it. There's no installers to run or settings to tweak. They can hear instructions spoken to them from the crew in the production dock, and once routed to a live view output channel, receive the mix minus from the station side audio mixer. For a complete demo of Air Control, visit our website, go.liveview.tv slash air control. So why air control? And where would you find yourself using this? Joining me now to discuss that is our own Janelle Fleming. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning, Chris. Air control is poised to revolutionize live production orchestration. From simple on-air guest management, replacing video conferencing tools many use just because guests are more familiar with how to operate them, to large productions where the need to coordinate and communicate with many different contributors to the live production is an ever-present challenge. Once at your fingertips, you'll find air control can be deployed in many ways. But to name a few, a news broadcaster can use it to quickly invite and get guests on air, either as part of their regular workflow or during a breaking news situation. In a Remy production, where the crew might be spread across many production facilities, it creates the necessary collaboration layer between directors and their crew. A producer could participate in a show remotely, even when using an in-cloud production suite. Air Control adds the interface and communication critical to ensuring a show stays on track. While these may be the more common uses for air control, there are other somewhat esoteric uses, such as large scale live event management or the ability to scale to produce an award show or draft event remotely. Anywhere that you might find yourself considering a video conferencing platform in a live broadcast situation, air control might be just the thing you need. Think about the doorbell sounds, yellow highlights or pop ups you have to block. Air Control has none of the pain points of using a consumer tool in a production role. It's built for live production. It also means the workflow is optimized as well. It's simple for the on-air talent and guests. They just want to click a button and go live. For the crew, it's sophisticated and easy to use, just like all of our products. LiveView builds tools that anyone can use. Air Control is no different. Keep in mind, Hybrid working environments aren't going away, and content creators continue to evolve. You've minimized travel, learned to adapt on the fly, but now comes the need for tools for the long term. Moving forward, adopting sustainable, broadcast-built platforms is critical to the success of our industry. More importantly, though, is the underlying engineering at play. Ensuring a broadcast-quality video signal makes it to air. For more on what technologies we're using to improve on-air quality, we go to Dan Pisarski, our VP of Engineering in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dan? Thanks, Chris and Janelle. Air Control uses a series of overlapping technologies to create the best user experience possible while maintaining broadcast quality. There are two technologies that make this possible, WebRTC and LiveView's own LiveView Reliable Transport, or LRT. When these technologies are combined in air control, the result is we can optimize both the orchestration workflow and ensure pristine video delivery. WebRTC is a low latency protocol that is optimized for video conferencing applications capable of achieving latencies as low as 150 milliseconds. It's powerful because it can run in any modern web browser, meaning all you need is a computer or smartphone to get started. But WebRTC does have a few drawbacks, most of which are the results of its origin as a video conferencing technology. Things like lower bitrate, limits to resolution, lower frame rates, and so on. 
That's where LRT comes into play. LRT is one of the many reasons that LiveView units are the gold standard for bonded cellular encoders. It's optimized for quality, regardless of the network conditions. LRT itself is also a combination of techniques, leveraging packet reordering, automatic resend requests, forward error correction, and adaptive bitrate and resolution encoding. However, this resiliency relies in some cases on some extra latency to operate. In fact, as LiveView users know, you can tune your acceptable latency to allow for more resiliency in your stream. Typical latency for field units can be 100 milliseconds to one second. While this does impose a challenge to most live productions, it's too high for collaboration. That's what led us to air control. We built a streaming client that has both WebRTC and LRT embedded inside, giving users the best of both worlds, low latency for collaboration and quality and reliability to achieve broadcast quality video. Let's take a quick look at how the system fits together. The air control streaming client that is used by talent and guests builds two connections, one for orchestration into the air control production dock and the other for the high quality audio video delivery into the LiveView LU2000, LU4000 or Cloud Connect channels. The preview output of those channels is displayed in air control and the broadcast quality directed towards the production systems. Importantly, the mix minus, which is created in the audio console, is fed into the LiveView Audio Connect service and sent back to the air control streaming clients. This means that when connected to a production, the streaming client gets both the orchestration audio from the air control production dock and mix minus coming from the production equipment. Finally, the program output, prompter feed, and other feeds are then fed into the LiveView video return server, which delivers those back to all users of air control. What's great about all of this is that it's a frictionless install for existing LiveView users. No upgrades to run, firewall rules to modify. Air control can immediately elevate your live production workflow. Thanks, Dan. I'm sure by this point, everyone is excited to start working with air control. So how do we get started, Janelle? Here at LiveView, we wanted to make sure that air control was accessible to everyone. Packages start at 10 active concurrent participants for $3.90 a month and $39 per month for each additional participant. Anyone in a live production counts as a participant, but seats are not named. So anyone can use them from a crew member to a guest. Figuring out how many licenses you need is simple. Think about the average size of your biggest productions. For example, if you're a news station and your evening newscast is your largest show and usually takes 25 people to produce, from the control room staff to the talent and the guests, you would want to get 25 air control participants. For more information on pricing, your live you salesperson or reseller will be more than happy to help answer any questions. At LiveView, we are so thrilled to see how air control will elevate your live productions. Before we go today, I'd like to take a moment to recognize everyone here at LiveView who helped make air control possible. It's truly an honor to work with so many talented people around the world. We are passionate about what we do, from research and development to sales, DevOps to finance, sales operations to marketing, LiveView is committed to providing the highest quality products and services to our customers. I would personally like to thank everyone who helped to take air control from a whiteboard concept to the product we're releasing here today. I am proud to count myself as a member of the LiveView family. So on behalf of Dan and Janelle and all of us here at LiveView, thank you for joining us. Now get out there and make live happen.